Hey guys, so I decided to record myself playing a game that I'm particularly interested in. It's called Fall of Porcupine and I came across this on this barbecue on Steam and I thought it was pretty interesting because I do like the, the very deep dark aspects of the story even though it looks all cute. So for those who don't know, it's basically Fall of Porcupine. I'm just going to read it from the Steam store page and it says Fall of Porcupine is a unique story adventure, the collision of work and daily life. An exciting reflection of an unhealthy healthcare system. Experience the exciting story of Finley and his friends in a lovingly illustrated world and uncover the darkest secrets of Porcupine and its residents. So this game came out on the 15th of June 2023. I thought it would be interesting if I recorded playing it because it's probably one of those games that's a one-time experience. So I thought I could share it with the rest of you. So without much further ado, let's get into it. All right. Fall of Porcupine is a story set in a healthcare environment. It contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell, and consider contacting family, friends, or a professional for support. Okay. Whoa. So they're, they're basically telling us, hey, this might be a very heavy topic that we're going to be playing about, so... Gotta watch out. So it's gonna be pretty interesting if they have this kind of intro. I really like deep stories that are sometimes uncomfortable to talk about. I, I bet the game's gonna be very symbolic as well. Like a lot of stuff are gonna go on and you have to pay attention to details. I'm a little bird, a pigeon. Am I in my room? It's very quiet. Okay. Uh-huh. Wait, am I stupid? Am I supposed to move? Oh. <laughs> Cool, I can move. Shall we go to the... Hmm, let's go right, because right is always the right way to go. Can I jump? Spacebar? Yay, I can jump. Okay. This is a very bright, bright environment. And a random plant pops up. Hey, Finley, nice to see you at last. How much of a talker? Why the long face? Oh, no reason. I I wasn't expecting to run into my houseplant here. Who were you expecting? Your washing machine, perhaps? By the way, we need to talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. Oh, that... Uh, wow, what? Uh, no. I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea. But it was important. And I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been that important. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course. Come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. The lush grass, the bright warm sun, and this wonderful soothing music. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music though. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Oh god, here it comes. Did you just... are you gonna pull a... Oh. Uh, I thought he was gonna pull a music box out of that pot, but... Guess not. Yes, I like this. Oh, my, my pigeon's dancing to it. Cool Mundo. Just let your leaves dangle. Leave your worries by the wayside. Yes, yes, I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great, that's what I want to hear. Lost things always turns up eventually. Are you foreshadowing something, Mr. Plant? So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I might do that. I'm going to have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I want to pick out my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your fat, frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. 
Enjoy, Fino. Okay, I can walk now. So, right off the bat, I feel like this is just a dream. Because this is my house plan. And this environment looks like very nice. I'm probably dreaming and that came out of nowhere from the sky. And there you are again, houseplant. Well, well, hello there, buddy. Yeah, it's been a long while. We meet again. How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you were looking for? It's going quite well. It's really nice here. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Person. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Person. Hmm, let's go with this one. I haven't been outside like this in a long time. It's easy to forget how much good it does to you. Word. Once I find my spot, I might just stay. That sounds great. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. Just yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him. That's Hugo. <laughs> we went to university together. Huh. He's great to climb around. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore though. Not since I got aphids. Oh, he has the, the plant cooties. Want to give it a try? Sure, why not? But I don't think I can get past the giant flower. Oh. Oh, hold on. We'll have that sorted out in no time. Just gonna pull it out? Never mind. You're gonna pull it in. Take, I stand corrected. See, no problem at all. No problem? The whole ground was shaking. Hugo's quite ticklish. We need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break any of his leaves off. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know? Okay. Oh, this? Oh, what? okay. Yeah. Oh, spacebar. Yeah, I already figured that out. Wait, can I get up there? Let's see. Whoop. Oh, I can. Whoop. 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 Mm, probably around here. Oh, hello, Finstar. <coughs> up here. Oh, how did you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. Yeah, right. It just in my dream. I'm not allowed to climb up here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into the water? Seriously? I thought we were just going to chill. <laughs> Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it is, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more of a partial shade kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Chicken! Alright. Ah. Goodbye, cruel world! Oh. oh, oh shit! Am I gonna drown? Hey, there's the plant again. You lied to me, so you do like watering, overwatering. Oh, I can talk to it. How? Press E, I think? Yeah, press. You made it after all. You, you, you know me. I never pass up on a good time. <laughs> this is the kind of friend you have. That if, if, if he jumped off the bridge, if, if you were to jump off the bridge, would he do it? He would definitely do it because he wouldn't pass up a good time. Are you alright? I'm going to catch a cold. Then you'll need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. Do my tax. What the hell? Plants do taxes in this world? The water's lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. No. I don't like water. So you want me to stop watering you then? That that different. Oh, definitely. You wouldn't understand. It's a flower thing. Hey, help me understand. Actually, maybe we could get out of here. All right, all right. Can I pick you up? So cold. Don't be such a baby. <laughs> I, I can't pick him up. I, I guess you'll pop up somewhere else 
Hey, a statue. Looks like a pilgrim. Isn't that the statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? Oh, can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it. No response. How rude. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe because he's a freaking statue? But I'm very convinced that this is just a uh, dream. This is probably things he's coming across in real life. And we are now in a beach? Desert biome? I'm gonna go with a beach. Yeah, it's a beach. The Finmeister, there you are. What took you so long? You're looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you're down at the beach? That moment when the excess water disappears. And you feel the first tickle of photosynthesis kicking. <laughs> okay there, buddy. There's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. I forgot everything around me. Who are you again? Finley, you live with me. <laughs> Look at my eyes. I'm like not amused at all. Pina gave you to me. You're from her flower store. Okay, so we have another character called Pina. Finley, Funley, Dingley, Dungley. It's all the same to me right now. Oh yeah. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. You sure do have some strange notions. So, have you found what you're looking for yet? No. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congratulations! You found someone. Bam! This guy's just messing with me. Your very best flower, buddy. Now grab yourself a drink and lie down on the sand. We haven't had a vacation in a long time. I... I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. Alright, but don't get sunburned. After all, I'm not in Aloe <laughs> I, I understood that joke. It's a very big ass... Uh... Can I go down here? Oh, can I not? Yes, not. Whee! Oh, yeah, I should have seen that coming. Bouncing off again. I'm in the heaven. <coughs> Sorry. I'm a bit sick from the all the pollen allergies. My throat's reacting. So this is heaven. This looks like a waiting room. With some plants. And a big, big hippo. She reminds me of that monster incorporation, I think. With the, I'm watching you, Kowalski. Ingrid, Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where, where Mr. Arndis is? So I'm looking for Mr. Arndis. Mr. Arndis, I was looking for Mr. Arndis. He's a patient of ours, and he's dis and he disappeared. I was taking the elevator, and something went wrong. Oh God. I have to find Mr. Arndis, otherwise something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations, but I've got a feeling something happened to Mr. Arndis. We'll catch up again soon, I promise. She watch. Is she turning her head? Yeah, she's looking at me. Oh God. So this takes place in a, like a healthcare system world, so I'm assuming we are like doctors and we are going to see a patient and something went wrong. <coughs> uh, uh, excuse me. A portal. Interesting. Cool. Mr. Arndt has to be here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Arndt. Can you hear me? Let's go left. Oh. Nope. Guess uh, right way was always the right way to go. Hey. I don't see any bird signs up there. Only for reindeers. 501, 502. Should I remember those numbers? 501, 502. Okay. A bunch of stuff everywhere. It looks like a mess. 
Is that a cross? Did someone die? Is that a sign? Oh no, someone died. 503, 504. Oh, I see blood. It's... Oh man, are we gonna... Is it... Is it like... Trauma? Oh. Hello, is someone there? There are boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should. Oh, there's someone back there. Mr. Arndis, is that you? Oh, uh, I, I, do I want to do this? Oh, man. Is this trauma that one of my patients die and I'm regretting over it or having guilt? That's blood. It's still fresh. Well, I mean, I I hope you didn't notice it just now. It was already long. Oh God. Oh. Uh... Oh man. Did he commit suicide? Mister Arndis, you're bleeding. Don't move. Uh, what? Who? Who are you? Just stay calm, I'm gonna help you. Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Oh. Oh. Oh, I couldn't even react. I, I tried to press spacebar, but I guess it was just an unskippable cutscene. Couldn't react to it. So this is where I wake up probably, right? This has to be a nightmare. Because of all the changing environments or biome. Oh boy, this is gonna, I can already feel it being very deep. What is this? Press I. Good morning. What's this? Messenger. Mom. Hey, brother. Will you be home for dad's birthday this year? No, I can't make it. I'm on vacation right now. Oh, too bad. Damn. Okay, but let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be there right away. we Will do. Thanks, mom. So I seem to have a good relationship with my mother. And, um... Oh. Oh. I... I did I press something? I, I can't see my, uh... My mouse click. Huh. That was interesting. I couldn't see my, uh, mouse click. Man, another of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping till together. Oof. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Okay, can I can I press I still? Yes, I can. Hey, I can see my cursor again. I couldn't see it for a moment. So I seem to have a good relation with my mother. Our brother seems to be, yeah, kind of distant for us. Pina, that's the person that gave us of the, the flower plant, which I can see right here. Oh, yeah, I can scroll. Oh, man, I didn't think of that. Hold up, hold up. We need to find out what's going on. Hey, big brother, happy birthday. How's things going? Well, hey, Finley, doing just fine. Thanks. Happy birthday, Finley. Hey, thanks. At a bar celebrating, lots of people here. Lol, okay, have one for me. Way ahead of you there, heh. Will you be home for dad's birthday this year? No, I can't make it, I'm on vacation right now. Oh, too bad. Damn. So maybe we do have an ish good relationship with our brother, but he doesn't have a good relationship with our father. But yeah, let's see what mom is all about here. Hey, did you get there okay? You didn't let us know. Hi, mom. Sorry. Move was pretty hectic. Hope you enjoy porcupine. Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, okay. I, I thought porcupine was a person. So, I was like, huh? I hope you enjoy porcupine. So, it's probably like a, like a city or town. The fall of porcupine. I thought it was a person. Anyways, we'll come and visit soon. Please get in touch if you need anything. I'll do that. I promise. Thank you, mom. Good luck for your first day at work. You've got this. 
Thanks, I'm a little nervous, but really looking forward to it. Hope my work's nice, and the cafeteria, of course. You're going to be a very great doctor. We're very proud of you. Hi, sweetie. How'd it go? Hey, hey, it was really cool, but also exhausting. I was going to unpack up a few, uh, few more boxes, but I think I'll just head up straight to bed. Don't do that. You deserve some downtime. The boxes will still be there tomorrow. Good night. Not heard from you in ages. Is everything okay? Hi, Mom. Yeah, everything's fine. Just lots going on. Sorry. Works harder than I expected. Feels like I don't have time for anything else. Well, new starts are always tough. I'm sure it'll get better. How are you doing? We're on vacation. Nice and sunny here. Just on our way to the beach. Sounds great. It's nice here too. Definitely fall, but still quite warm. Started to make a few friends. It's all going pretty well. That's great, sweetie. People from work? Yeah, Mia and Carl work on my ward. They're really cool. But I've met some other people too. What other people? Mean people? Even when went to the woods here with a friend, with a new friend. That's that was really nice. Sorry, had no reception all day. That's really great. Knowing you're happy makes me happy too. Hey, sweetheart, back home now. Hope you're doing well. I'm managing to take a break. Yeah, actually, taking an unscheduled break right now. Had a little accident at work on sick leave for a few days. What? What's wrong? Do you need me to come over? No, everything's fine. Just a bump on the head. Nothing serious. I can be on the next train. <laughs> what do you need? Do you have someone to do, do your shopping for you? It's fine, mom. Okay, but let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be there right away. we Will do. Thanks, mom. So we have a great relationship with our mom. So me and Carl is someone we work, we are work colleagues, I guess. And Pina is the person that gave us the flower. Pina here, thought I'd text you so you have my number. How's it going? We're keeping you busy. Hey, Pina. Yeah, definitely. Should calm down soon, though. How are things at the store? The Monstera Deliciosa are arguing over who has the prettiest leaves again. Apart from that, not much going on. Thanks for taking me out today. Oh, my. My hangover was really nasty, but the fresh air did me good. Sure thing. <laughs> we can do it again when you've got time. I'm always, I'm always going up to the woods anyway. Plants are my job, you know. Sure, let's do it. Hope things are better with you. What? What happened? Box fell on my hat. Got a nasty cut. Whoa, Finley, you need to be more careful. You need anything? Nah, I think I'm fine. Okay, I'll be driving out of town again in a few minutes. Is it okay if I stop by and bring you something on the way? Um, alright, what is it? A gift. Uh, okay, sounds intriguing. Thanks for stopping by. It was really great to see you. And thanks for the little plant, too. I'll take good care of it. Oh, so that's how we got our plant. Regular light, not too much water. And empty the statues I gave you into the soil three days from now. Crazy you didn't have any plants until now. By the way, I can't imagine what, what that's like. Got it. I'll remember. Okay. That's, that's nice. We have Carl. Sorry if you guys uh, don't want me to go through all of this. I just find it interesting to know, know who I am and where am I and who are the people I'm interacting with. So I'm, I'm going through it real quick here. So this is Carl, someone we work with at, at work. Hi, Finley. There's my number. Feel free to come to me if you have any questions. Yesterday was fun. You're a cool guy. Let's go back to Gilbert's next time. Our Rotas line up. Yes, it was fun. <laughs> Things got pretty heated, though. Uh, that's normal. You'll get used to it. Hey, Finley. How's your head? Hey, Carl. I'm all right. Thanks. Head's still throbbing a bit. How's the ward? Sorry if I'm off work so soon after starting. Don't worry. Could have happened to anyone. Besides, you were only trying to help me find Mr. Arndis. Still feel bad about it. Forget about it. Order yourself a pizza instead. Carl looks like the muscular guy. Oh, wait, that's the horns. Never mind. And Mia. Mia, a little cow. Let's go all the way back up. Can I? Yeah. Hi, Finley. Dr. Kowalski asked me to send you my number. Hello, Mia. Thanks. Here's my number, too. Looking forward to working with you. Me, too. See you tomorrow. Get well soon, Finley. I just heard what happened. Should I be worried? How's bad the injury? Thanks. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'll just rest up for a few days. Then I'll be back at work. Hope you've not got too much work covering for me. Don't worry about that right now. Just be careful in the future, okay? There's a lot going on in our ward right now. Anyway, you just get yourself healthy again. Consider it done. Good morning. Hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat. Then you can finally tell me all about what happened. Wow. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So those are the people I am talking with. What is this app? 
Saint Ursula's task. No task available. Okay. Notes. No notes. Help. Go to the hospital. Why is that in the help? So oh, that's a weird. Uh... All right, let's go back. Let me cough a little bit because I'm a bit uh, allergic right now. <coughs> <clears throat> Man, all the pollen is really not doing anything for me. Oh, I can react to this. There you are. Just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You've given me quite the restless night. It's alright for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight, it'll be... <laughs> A little plant. So... I can see that I've kind of moved in, but there's still a bunch of boxes lying everywhere. Oh, TV. I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kicked my butt in the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Fat chance. I haven't touched a thing since I moved in. Damn. We're all growing up. We just don't have time for games like we used to, huh? Oh, my clothes changed. Oh, that was like a cool transition there. Okay. I got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. A bus timetable, a sightseeing guide, and a trial subscription to the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day. Then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's. No, don't do that. That I don't like that, those glasses. Can I not open the door? Maybe if I go here? I thought that was, I thought that was like the window or something. Hey. It's fall. Do I go left? Let's go left this time. Some people have a bakery within walking distance. Or a grocery store. I have a used I have a used clothes container. Different, but just as practical. Cool. Hmm. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I'm supposed to... Wait, what if there's like a time limit? Like if I do something else, it'll have consequences. Let me check what's on the right side. Because I should have seen something by now where... I wonder if what choices you do or what you decide to do that day impacts how the... Hey. Oh, I can't talk to you? It's a dog. It's a doggo. And it's a cat. Oh, a bike. That bike's been there ever since I moved in. So either someone moved and forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still there come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Hmm. Okay. It's the random uh, golden retriever looking dog. Oh no. My screen froze. Game's a bit uh, lagging when I'm doing the recording, I guess. Good morning, Finley. Running late? Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights, I don't dream at all. But sometimes, I dream that I'm running. Just on the spot, for no reason. Spoken like a true dog. That definitely comes from work. I heard Lois Colbert's having trouble sleeping too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already. Just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? Really have an odd routine. Well, the, the pause won't pause itself. You know what? Fair enough. True, but I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't let get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. Okay, so this is an indication that I'm going right to the location of the hospital. I'm going to press I on my... to open up my phone because I see notes here. Susie. Susie's the only mail carrier in Porcupine. She knows everyone, perhaps a little too well. I get the impression that she's a little too nosy for her own good. A little gossiper, I see, huh? Susie. 
<clears throat> okay. And Games taking a bit to load. Does my recording on OBS have anything to do with it, maybe? I don't hear anything either. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this... Oh. Yeah, this game is looking to be very cute and fluffy, but underneath it's all deep and dark. There's a note here. Unfortunately, the citizens bus is out of service until further notice. We ask for your understanding. Look on the bright side. With fuel prices the way they are, walking is the better option anyway. We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. Suits me just fine. Why did I buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? You know what? Fair enough. That is true. This feels like... Am I in, like in Europe? What is this? A sign. From here I can get to the old town and the high street. It's weird what passes for a high street in a small town. All I know is that peanut store is there. But I should check out the street when I'm free sometime. The old town is up to its name at least. Small crooked old houses, the town hall, the town fountain. And Gilbert's, of course, the best and only pub in Porcupine. And best of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula's Hospital. So it is the right side, man. What would have happened if I went to the left side of the road? Would I have had consequences because I wasn't at the hospital? Can I go up there? Oh, there's someone here. Hey, kid. Road's still closed. Can't let you through here. So how do I get to St. Ursula's Hospital? No access via the high street today. It'll be closed until at least tomorrow. You can still get to the hospital via the old town, though. Well, if you still want to go there today, head through the old town. Why is the road closed? Construction work today. We're building here. Stones, wood, steel, cement. Ah, I see. So that's what building is. Yep, someone like you wouldn't understand. Damn. Ask stupid questions, get stupid answers, I guess. Is that you on the poster? You trying to insult me, buddy? What? But uh, I don't want to say all beaver look the same because maybe that's kind of, you know, rude to the beaver ethnicity. No, I'm just saying. Watch out. I'm not standing here because I love dust and drills. And I won't let newcomers like you give me sass from the sidewalk. All right, sorry, I didn't mean it that way. I should hope not. The guy on the poster looks nothing like me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Who'd confuse you with that guy? Only someone who needed their eyes tested. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Oops, I, I pressed it again. I'm just going to skip it real quick. Okay, It's okay, I'll look for another way. Yeah, you do that. But they look the same, though. They, I'm not. I'm not even gonna question it. Maybe all beavers don't look the same. Maybe they release a certain smell, so you can identify them. Ahem. <clears throat> I would. I would like to try going, doing different things. So if we had to go to the hospital, that would do the opposite, but I'm too scared of the consequences. So we're just going to do what I would do in real life. <coughs> it does take a while to load. I don't know if I'm supposed to hear anything though. Hmm. I wonder, is there going to be like a, a romance route? Like, am I able gonna 
am I able to choose different dialogue choices and because of that you will have like relationships with someone not that I'm into any romance games in particular but I mean I mean I wouldn't mind yes you know I like uh, romance stuff pretty good pretty good but yeah we'll see maybe it's just a one one storyline a straight line so can't really change much it's just in there for the ride hey finally the loading does take quite a while i don't know i don't know if that's intentional can i talk to this guy look at the view though oh it's so clear you can see the gold glow milk woods from here I like this morning air in the fall. Too bad I don't have more time. I wouldn't mind grabbing a coffee and eating my breakfast there. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> oh no, another loading screen. We'll never recover from this. Maybe if I don't click around so much, it would go faster. Hey, well, it definitely felt like it went a bit faster. And I spoke too soon. We're back to waiting. So far, all the people I've talked with or interacted with are pretty nice. Pina seems like a nice person. That worries and would even come over to help me and stuff or offer help. You have Carl. Carl's pretty nice. Pretty cool dude, chill. Guess I go to the bar with him often. There was another person, but I forgot who. Then you have mom. Mom was like so sweet. Like she even messages you every once in a while to see how you're doing when you never decide to message her back. So kind of sad. On my part, as as the pigeon, but on the other hand as well, the mom's been pretty, pretty, very much of a sweetheart. And then of course we have our our brother as well. But I think that there's something going on between the dad and my brother. I say my brother because I'm 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 saying it from the pigeon's perspective, but I'm assuming something's going on between them that he decided to skip the. Or he's just going to ignore the birthday just to stay on the vacation. Maybe need some alone time. And while I'm saying this, I already noticed that my screen is frozen. I'm going to have to see what's going on. But I don't know if I can do it right now. No, we'll see. It's a goat. Goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by a rolling? 